Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and a few weeks ago I made some review videos of this airdrop and uh, let me make sure I got it on the camera there. Yeah, okay, here we go. So uh, anyway, uh, the one thing I didn't do was with it, when I finished all that was to show how to set it up so that it would work from the app. So I got everything uh, linked and I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I think I might have started the recorder but I, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we got everything linked and we'll go to DJI Go For. And when you bring up that, it usually comes up with this aircraft status uh, menu, which is perfect because this shows where I can uh, make the changes that I need in order to make this thing work. If you notice down here where it says Bust button customization, that's referring to the uh, I hit the button again. That's referring to these two buttons, okay? This is C1, this is C2. C1's on the left side as you're holding it, C2 is on the right side as you're holding it. Okay, so you can program those by tapping on it and uh, make, make that button control a lot of other things. But we, we're just gonna, I'm just going to leave it on that one so I can use my airdrop, okay? Oops, get that down here. We'll tap that back like it was. There's also another way you can get to it if that isn't showing up and that is to go to uh, settings and then come over to the little uh, looks like a rabbit with eyeballs and here we are again and it shows you which one is C1 and C2 and there's your there's your uh, same thing right there now you don't have to use C1 and C2 you can use uh, a lot of the other buttons but I find that a nice easy one because then I can use my airdrop so how does that work well uh, let's take this sensor off of here. Okay. Now, if I hit, if I hit the C, C1 button, take a notice now, there's the light. Okay, I turn it on. I hit it again. I turn it off. And that's the key that's going to cause, <clears throat> let me lay this down so it won't chirp. That's the key that's going to cause this to signal. You notice when I put that on there, uh, the little gadget up here move. So that's how it works. So if I'm flying and I want to drop something, I've got it hooked onto this little thing right here. Then I go ahead and push C1 button. The light goes out or it comes on. I can't remember. Anyway, and that releases the string or the loop or whatever, and it falls to the ground. <clears throat> when I get ready to go up again, I loop the thing over this part. I hit the button, I bring it back over from there and put it over just the bar. When I'm flying, I put hit the button and it op opens it up again. That's what the airdrop does and that's how easy it is to set it up. So I hope that's helpful and uh, um, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.